What's up YouTube, it's All Day Anthony, and today I am fixing the Honda Civic. This is a day I've been looking forward to for a long time now, and I finally um, kind of have the means to do it. This is the last day in my current house, so I figured why not uh, why not paint my, uh, my Civic parts in this garage rather than my new garage. So um, as you can see, I have pulled off the old janky fender that I have here, and I have the new fender getting ready for paint. Um, I've also pulled off the side skirts on both sides, which I have over there, and I have a front lip that I put on a little while ago, just an eBay front lip, nothing special, and I'm going to be painting that as well. So basically the idea, uh, I know people are going to hate me for this, but I'm basically making a SI clone as far as appearance goes, just because I think the SI is probably the best looking Honda Civic of this generation. and. I only paid 1500 bucks for this car, so I could really care less what people think. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's going to be the whole process of me painting everything, um, rattle canning it for the most part, but I'm going to be doing a good job. I, uh, I started the prep work on a mirror. You can see right here, I've gone ahead and sanded down this whole mirror, getting that ready for paint. Um, I'm going to be scuffing that uh, fender up, sanding it down a little bit and getting it ready for primer, but uh, I'm going to be doing it right uh, as far as um, as far as I know. I'm going to be using 2K, pretty much everything, 2K primer, uh, base coat, and then 2K clear coat just so I'll be able to polish it down the road and have it look good. But uh, I got adhesion promoter for all the plastic pieces, um, like the side skirts over here. But um, yeah, I had some uh, Milano Red uh, paint matched for me from Amazon. I I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. I picked up a dupli color paint can as a backup if it doesn't match at all. But um, that's really not the difficult part. The difficult part is that I'm going to be actually fading paint for the first time. I've never actually faded anything. But as you can see right here, um, I have a pretty gnarly dent. And I kind of just want to fix it to where nobody would ever known that it was in a little bit of an accident. Um, I did that and I also, when I was trying to pull out this dent, with the dent puller, I managed to take off some of the clear coat as well, so I needed to refinish it anyways. Um, but I'm going to try to fade that. I I know I should be doing the fender on the car and fading it properly, but I, honestly, as long as it looks better than, uh, than this right here, um, I'll be pretty stoked. So the plan is is to paint the fender off the car um, to the best of my ability and basically use just the same method to fade this over here. Um, basically, I'm going to be sanding it, doing a harder sand towards the front, and then trying to fade it to about maybe about right there. Um, I talked to some people and they think I should fade it all the way into the door, but like I said, I, as long as it looks pretty good, like, you know, 60% better, I'll be stoked. So um, that's kind of the project for today. And um, I still have to move all this stuff out of the garage. Um, the Evo's here, but the entire house is cleaned out. So this is kind of the last of it. Um, I just wanted to do a good job and I didn't want to uh, dirty up my new garage. So that's kind of why I'm doing everything here. Um, I'm not gonna be filming the whole process, like I said. I just feel like I'm kind of short on time and I need to get to everything as fast as possible. So um, I'll be taking little quick snippets of, you know, of what I'm doing, but it's not gonna be a full on tutorial on how to do it. But let me just say that if I can do this and make it look good, fingers crossed, then anybody can do it. Um, I have really no experience of this. The only spray painting experience I have is just painting wheels and random little parts, nothing nothing big like fading paint into a door. So uh, that's pretty much what's going on, guys. So um, wish me luck in this process. I'm hoping it turns out good. Um, basically, after I paint everything, gonna let it dry until tomorrow morning since I, I, I guess I technically have one more day in this house and uh hopefully it'll go good so i will catch up with you guys here in a little bit all right guys another quick update for you so um all the prep work is pretty much done um i decided to do a little bit of a different fade than i originally planned um i was actually going to do a a vertical line but i decided to do a um diagonal line instead so um this is going to be kind of where the hard cut's going to be and then fading up to about that point maybe a little further depending on um, how it looks here in a little bit, but I do need to fill in this area right here with some body filler um, And sand that down and get that even But uh got that sanded down um, Got all the plastics over here sanded down as well. So um, well not sanded I guess more scuffed if anything so um, We should be pretty much good to go to start painting here I'm gonna pull everything inside the garage pull the Evo out and uh, and get started. So 
Um, yeah, God, dude, sanding is a lot of work. I actually hate this. This is, this, it's not, the, the sanding part's not very fun, but the painting parts should be a little more rewarding. But uh, yeah, so, so far that's an update. I will get back here in just a little bit. All right, so another quick update. It's been several hours and I've gotten a lot done. So the entire car is masked off. Um, I've started pretty much painting everything. Um, basically 2K primer on all the plastics so far. Um, might just kind of tack them down. I'm not really thinking that I need to sand them. They look like they coated pretty well. Um, door's getting ready for 2K primer after it dries. Uh, I'm gonna tack that down, possibly sand that to make it a little bit smoother. Um, but yeah, it's definitely moving along. Still have a lot ahead of me. I kind of uh, masked off the car the best I could. I'm not a professional at masking things off. I just thought that was about as good as it was gonna get. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, so far, I think it's turning out pretty well. I haven't really come across any major issues uh, except for filling in with the putty over uh, over there. I kind of did my best job. I I mean, it's, it's the best I could do. So I wanted to fill in that dent completely, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. So I will touch up when I start actually doing the paint. So that's going to be the uh, it's going to be the tricky part. So I'll catch up in a little bit. All right. So another quick update. I have now put the first layer of base coat on uh, on the side skirts and on the front lip, but I think we need to uh, to notice something really quick. So on the side skirts and front lip, I used a Duplicolor Perfect Match. Um, I got a color matched uh, paint can um, that I was <laughs> wanting to use on the main parts, and then for the side skirts and stuff, I wanted to use the Duplicolor. Um, however, let's go ahead and take a look at the Duplicolor front lip. All right now let's take a look at the fender color fender color duplicolor fender color duplicolor now the fender color is the actual paint matched um, can so um, I don't know how hard it is to see in this light or how easy it is to see in light of this light but the duplicolor is um, essentially it's pink and I messed up right there so that kind of sucks but um, it's essentially pink which which sucks I uh, I did not know it was gonna be like that. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use the Duplicolor, um, use the cans, get more of a coat on them and basically do the final coat with the other basically can. And um, I'm just gonna see how well I can get that to match. At this point, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, hoping that it all works out. So yeah, catch you in a minute. All right, so next update. Um, <laughs> God, I wish this was going smoother, but it's not. So I'm just gonna be honest about it. Um, God, uh, I don't even know where to start. So um, basically the color, I, I fixed the color problem with the dupe color and I went over it, over this, uh, the side skirts and the front lip with the, uh, for a final coat with the good stuff. Um, however, my good stuff can decided to start taking a shit on me and started spewing, um, just paint blobs and paint spots rather than actually spraying. Um, I cleaned up the nozzle, I don't know how many times, it just keeps accumulating. It's just the joys of uh, spray painting with a can. I, so if you can actually see, um, there's quite a few, quite a few paint blobs um, all over the side skirts. Um, I do, I'm just gonna mock it up to, well, it's, it's a rattle can job for you. I mean, I've done rattle can jobs before where it hasn't done that, I just, I don't know, maybe it just wasn't very lucky. So, um, but the good news though, is that the door, um, the door and the fender turned out great. No paint blobs, no nothing. Um, and I think once I hit those with clear coat, I think those are actually going to look good. Um, the side skirts, however, um, I don't think those are gonna look great. However, they're side skirts. Um, I think most of where the paint blobs are are gonna be kind of, I don't know, hopefully, not seen as much since that's when the door is going to be closed, but um, you can kind of see a couple of them there. Yeah, definitely not my best work by any means, but um, yeah, it is what it is, man. The, um, the front lip actually turned out all right, minus some paint blobs. So you can see right there and there, but it's a front lip and 
really, I mean, I wasn't even really super planning on painting this thing, but I did it anyways. Um, I'm at my last bit of paint, and as you can see, the mirror is not looking, not looking great either. Um, <laughs> God, I was really hoping, like I had this idea in my mind that this was all going to just go so smoothly, and since I bought the right paint, I did all the prep work and everything, that it was just going to be perfect, but I had a feeling that at the painting part, I was going to run into some issues. So um, I only have tonight to do all this, so this is what, this is what kind of sucks, is that you know, if I had another day or two, I would go down and pick up some more paint, maybe sand, uh, sand some of the shitty parts down, uh, and then go over it with more paint. But I'm kind of limited on time, and I'm also limited on money. I don't want to drop a ton of money on this car, especially with paint, because I think if I were to get some more paint mixed up, I think it'd be around 30, 40 bucks just for a paint can. And to me, that's just not worth it. But like I said, the biggest thing was the fender and the door. That's fixed. The side skirts were kind of just a plus. Um, they're red, so I guess that I got that going on for me, and they're somewhat matched to the paint. But uh, I think once I get some clear on them, I might feel a little better about the situation. The only thing is, I have one can of clear to get me through the entire process. Um, I did basically all in all, I probably did two coats of oh god, I mean, there's just I used two different primers, but I would say all in all, there's probably maybe a total of three coats of primer on two coats of primer on these side skirts, uh, two coats of primer on the front lip, two, uh, three coats of primer, I think three, I think three, on the fender and then the door. I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, so this is right before the fade. Uh, a little bit of a hard line there, but I've sanded and uh, lightly sanded and scuffed that other area. And I'm gonna tack these down really quick. I don't know if I'm supposed to tack them down, but I'm just gonna do it anyways, so. And uh, now it's time for the, uh, the clear. All right, and the clear coat is done. So, wow, okay, I really thought I was screwed. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. I thought I, thought I just completely just F this the whole entire project up. That clear coat pretty much just saved the day. Um, like it turned a shitty looking job into a better looking job. So um, we'll go around and show you. So the side skirts turned out really good. I mean, like, yeah, there's still paint bobs and whatnot, but the clear coat did a pretty good job of kind of hiding that, to be honest. Um, they're not perfect, but they're way better than, uh, than what I thought they were gonna be. So um, that turned out good. And then the fade. So this is kind of where I'm a little uneducated on. I don't know how this is all gonna turn out, but there is, there's the fade, if you can see the line right there. Um, basically, I did heavy clear in this area and then to a lighter clear in this area. So, yes, I do realize that there is a line, a very prominent line, but I don't know, I might be able to polish that. I might be able to make it look a little less noticeable, less shitty. I'm not really sure what the word I'm going for is, but um, I'm, that's all going to have to wait until... Once the car is cured and dry and, and ready to go. But the front lip turned out pretty damn good. Um, for, like I said, there's still a couple paint blobs. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them, but the front lip turned out really good. And then I was actually, this is my pride and joy right here. Um, the fender. The fender turned out really, 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 really good. Um, I don't even want to get near it, to be honest. I don't want to just mess it up but uh turned out way better than what i expected the like i said the clear really just kind of saved the day um we'll have to see how it looks once i get it out in the sun but uh you can see a little orange peel it's not perfect but um i think once i um maybe wet sand it i only did i only did two coats of clear i did a light coat and then i did a really heavy coat because i didn't know how much i had i didn't know how much i was going to go through um yeah, so I, I, I really wish I was a little more conservative, uh, I guess, with other things. Like, I did stupid things. Like, I don't know why, but I, I painted the, the underside of the lip. I mean, and I actually used paint on it, which was, which was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And I also did that on the bottom of the side skirts. But um, the mirror turned out good, um, except for when I dropped it. And I kind of effed up the paint a little bit on it. But 
it's a mirror. I wasn't really too worried. As long as it's red, I'm, I'm happy. But um, yeah, dude, I was pretty uh, pretty worried about the side skirts, but those actually turned out looking looking pretty good. But uh, yeah, I guess that's the vlog. So like I said, I'm gonna leave everything, um, come back maybe tomorrow and try to clean things up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video, whatever that may be.